guys, it's Carla, and today's video is going to be how you really get a curvy figure. First things first, all you have to do is, just kidding guys, there is no special way to get a hourglass curvy figure. But I'm going to tell you guys what I do to get my figure. Now, everyone has a different body type. Every body type is beautiful, don't get me wrong. The hourglass curvy figure is not what it's always about sometimes. And sometimes, your body ain't about it either because your body is your body. There is no special way to get that figure. There's not something that you can eat to make your hips pop out more and make your waist slimmer and make you slim thick, baby. There is no special special tactic for that. I mean, if, if you were given with that, if God blessed you to be slim thick and mm, beautiful, slim, uh, you know what I'm saying, then good for you. Some of us like me, I mean, for my size, I'm a smaller girl, but you know, I got a little curve to me, you know, but this video is going to be talking about what I do to get my little, my little, cur my little curve go. I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh yeah, I got that body, but I mean, I, I, I have... I'm working it. I'm working with what I got. I'm working with it. I'm working with it. But yeah, guys, I'm going to tell you guys what I do. And if you ever watch a video like this and they're trying to tell you there's a certain type of way, you can't change the shape of your body. But what you can do is improve the body that you have. If you don't have super wide hips and a slim waist, if you don't have it now, you're not going to get it anytime soon. But I mean, you can use waist trainers to help you, you know, make your waist slimmer and train to be that size, you know what I'm saying? But there is no possible way, sweetheart, that you are going to change your bone structure to be that way. You know what I'm saying? You can eat more and hopefully the fat goes in all the right places. But honestly, there is no special tricks, but I'm going to tell you guys my routine and how I get the body that I have today. First things first, if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know I used to be a tiny little twig. There was nothing to my body. And guess what happened to me? I gained about 13 pounds. I am 132 pounds and I am 5'6"-ish. And yes, I'm still a twig. All that fat, all that juicy fat that we also love went to the right places. It went to the thighs, it went to the cheeks, baby. <laughs> This is a body positive video, okay? This is what it is, a body positive video. But yeah, I gained weight, okay? But you wanna know what else I did? I went to the gym. I had a Planet Fitness membership. I was going there for about three weeks, no, not three weeks, <laughs> three months straight and literally it changed my body. I got a toned core, I got more toned legs, I got everything literally toned itself out. My upper body's already like naturally toned, so I didn't really like, work on my arms because I didn't want to be like a written monster man. But I'm gonna tell you guys what I did. So when I went to the gym every single day, what I did was hop on the treadmill for about 10 minutes. After that, I would either focus on a certain part of my body. So I would have a leg day, a butt day, and I would always do abs, okay? After I would go on the treadmill for about 10 minutes, I would not run or sprint or anything. I would just walk midway jog a little bit and then I would get off that. That's just my warm up, get me all, get me all ready to go for the actual, actual workout. And I really hope my hair doesn't look, look crazy, guys, with the crown. I have to put on my glasses because I can see. Yeah, guys, I'm, I'm wearing a crown. Hmm, hmm. I mean, not a crown. This is not a crown, this is a tiara, I'm just kidding, no. This is a headband that's a metal, and I don't know why it's called a crown, but it looks like one with the little dingy dingies, you know? But anyways, back to my story. So after the treadmill, I was like, okay, it's time to do the legs and the booty. Basically, I went on every leg and booty machine, okay? And then what I would do would be reps and sets. So I would start out by doing eight, two times at a certain weight. So for my legs, for instance, I would do like, no, I'll do like 50, okay? I'll do it eight times twice. Then I move it up to 55. I do that eight times twice. So I do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it'd be a total of actually 16. And then I raise it up to 60 and I do that again for like as many times until I couldn't do it anymore. So it would go up to like 
maybe 10, maybe 12, as many times until I couldn't do it anymore. And I would do that for every single machine that I would go on. And I do every single leg and butt machine that I could. I also did the stairs. So for the stairs, if you guys have seen it on like Biggest Loser, you walk up the stairs, but that's really good for your butt and your legs. I used to do this trick. I really wish I had one so I could show you guys, but I walk up the stairs and then kick, kick one of my back legs out, walk up, kick a back leg out. That's so good for your butt. Also walking on the side sideways on the stairs is really good for your butt. And that's really good to build up your butt. And if you want to look more thicker, you kind of want to build muscle in your thighs and your butt. Because if you guys see girls on Instagram, their thighs are all like muscular and their butt's muscular. But, and their abs are muscular. But since that's like building up that tone, it's giving them that nice figure that you guys kind of want to go for. And that's a way that you can build up that that like hippie look and give you like a more thicker look. And I think the tone look on girls is so, so nice. So, so nice. So, so nice. So yeah, that is all I would do. And then at the end of my routine for my legs and my butt, I would work on my abs and I just do every single ab routine the same thing. I do it eight times, two times, rise it up eight times, twice, rise it up until I can't do it anymore, the reps. And you guys know how machines go. There's machines for your arms that go like this. For the abs, you can lift up like this. So many, so many machines. I really wish I could film inside of the gym to show you guys what I do. But a lot of you guys have been asking for a workout routine. And this is like my best, like closest bet that I could do for it. My biggest thing for you guys is get a gym membership and just go on those machines and do those reps that I told you. And make sure you give yourself a break. After every workout, drink a protein shake. I didn't make an actual shake. I literally would take my water. I'll take whey protein. It's spelled W-H-E-Y protein. It's a big little tube. I'll take one scoop of that, put it in there. That's 25 grams of protein. And what's so great about taking protein after a workout is it goes straight. It's like feeding your muscles and it's going to help build your muscles quicker. So I totally recommend protein after every single workout. What I would do was work out I'd have two break days. So it'd be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, take a break on Wednesday, Thursday, take a break on Friday, Saturday, and then I'd switch it up depending on how I felt, but I'd always give myself a break. Do not overwork yourself. That's really bad on your body. You need to give your muscles a break so they can actually build themselves up and be all nice and strong. And I'm not making up any of this stuff. I know some of you guys see make um, workout routines and like, you know, make these girls ain't working out. They ain't working out there. They eat whatever they want. You know what I'm saying? But eat healthy. Look up stuff for that. I'm not no nutritionist. I'm like a nutrition pro. You know, I eat, try to eat healthy. You know, eat like a salad. I'll eat like a sandwich. Eat like healthy, like little stuff. Don't eat fries and stuff like that. You guys know. It's common sense. I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys things that everyone knows, you know. But yeah, that is just what I did. A lot of you guys were asking for a workout routine. And that's how I get my body. And yes, I am a very small girl. But I do have a curve and a figure to me. And after working out, it genuinely improved my body. I'm actually going to show you guys progress pictures of a picture of me in a bikini before I went to the gym and after I went to the gym. And you guys see a huge, 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 huge difference. I mean, at least I do. So yeah, guys, that is it for this video. That is how you truly get an hourglass figure. Go to the gym. Work on improving your own body and it will just keep improving and your body will get better and better and the more chub that you lose, the more your figure is going to come out and as a female, your body is naturally shaped to be more hourglassy. If you are straighter, then that's okay too, you know, but that's what I do. That's how I get my figure for anyone who's wondering. I don't know why I'm doing this, but yeah guys, that is how you really get that slim thick figure that is it for you guys i hope that you enjoy be sure to subscribe if you are new to my channel for more awesome amazing videos just kidding that sounds cocky i'm not cocky at all i'm very humble when i reply to your guys's comments and you're like oh my gosh i can't believe you replied i'm like oh my gosh i can't believe you commented on my video like thank you thank you girl thank you but seriously subscribe for more videos also give this give this video a big old thumbs up just for being a girl and being confident, there's no certain type of way that your body needs to be, girl. You are beautiful, okay? If you don't have an hourglass figure, work what you got, okay? You are beautiful no matter what. And, yeah, guys, that is it. I will see you in my next video. Doses! <laughs> Bye, guys. Hold up. They don't love you like I love you. Slow down. They don't love you like I love you.
back up They don't love you like I love you Step down, they don't love you like I love you Can't you see?